Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand what is Docker file. This will be the part one of the Docker file. We know that there is a public registry which is called as hub dot docker dot com, from where we are able to pull the images. Hub dot docker dot com can also be used as private registry for enterprise to store their customized applications or customized images. So this is the software as a service which can be used for enterprise for storing their customized images or for public Im images. So whenever we pull the images, we are pulling from the public image. We pull images such as Nginx, Ubuntu, Hello World, Alpine. So these are some of the images which we are going to pull. All these images are stored inside the public registry, which is just a repository to store the images. We also have public cloud service provider who is going to offer the private registry for the enterprise. Azure offers Azure Container Registry, AWS offers AWS Container Registry, Google offers Google Container Registry, and other cloud service provider also offers their own container registry. And these container registry are used to store the enterprise customized images for the use of their business. So we have the registry from where we are pulling the images which can be Node.js Express, MongoDB, or .NET images, and any other application images. Once we pull the images, we are able to run the container out of that particular image. So we have the image, and from here, we are able to run the containers on our servers. What is a docker file? A docker file is a text file that contains the instructions we use to build and run a docker image. So we have the text file which we are going to create which will be used to build the image and this file should be named with D capital and the name of the file should be like this without any extensions and we include all the instructions inside this particular file inside the docker file. We have the instructions starting from from and we have the instructions to change the work directory and copy instruction and run the command inside the container. And this is the command which needs to be executed and this is the port which needs to be exposed. So all these instructions which will go into the docker file as the instructions. We know that when we install the docker, there are three main components which gets installed. So this will be called as docker engine. The three main components are CLI, API and the docker server. So this docker server is the one which is running docker D daemon. So docker D is the service which is run by the docker server. Similarly for the docker file to be executed, we have build x which will be executed at the CLI component and there is build kit which will be executed at the server component. And when we run the build command using the CLI component, the command will be processed by the docker server using the build kit component. Once the instruction has been updated inside the docker file, we use docker build and this will be the location of the docker file from where the docker build will be executed. It will be passed on to the CLI and then it will be processed at the docker server component. So this will be the file which is stored in the current directory.
and as I said, the file name will be Docker file. We can also execute the build command providing the location as URL Docker build, and we can provide the location as HTTPS and the build file, which is Docker file location. To create an image with a tag, I need to use this command docker build dash t to tag the image and my image name will be demo image. This will be my tag v1.0 and this is my docker file location which has all the instructions for the image. I will continue with the part 2 of the docker file in the next video. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you and take care.